better just to check every thing because then otherwise you have to go all the way back and you go, oh fuck, I've done everything wrong. And then you have to encounter several zombies multiple times. If you, it's one of those, survival horror is a weird genre. It's one of those games where you're like, I really love this game. It's better if I spend as little time as possible in certain parts of the game. And some of it, like, I love this game. <sighs> Fuck. Certain parts of this game, I am like, see those guys are woken up in the firing range now. If it's not in here, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I came all the way here for a red herb. Oh, you didn't know. That's just for the locker that I think I've already opened. Mmm, that's annoying. So this area is green. Blue. I know colors. Shut up. I don't know where it is. Straight up, I might be ending the possession <laughs> soon just so I can go look it up later. Are you kidding me? Do I just go in here? It seems like that's unlocked. That means unlocked, right? That means unlocked. Red means. But I haven't checked it to find out. Which way am I going? Some areas they have these enemies and you kill them all and then you come back and you get some more. So it's like, mm, yeah. Tension. So yeah, what was I talking about? Hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna check. Pretty sure it's yeah, it's fine. I went all the way back for the red button, what a waste of time. But you know we had to know. So where are we going next? Let's think. I, what did I say? That the other option was that place down there. The records room. It's like, it, I feel like it's in the records room. I feel like that's important, you know. Talk about going round and round on yourself though. So we going round again. Round and round we go. This area is not as fun because you normally you open. Oh, you don't even come through this area all the way around. Not this way, I don't think. Oh no, you do. I'm confused. I did check this. This is locked. We have all saw that this here says locked door. It's locked. So we can't go through this. God, my, lo my logistic awareness and like map reading and shit and doing everything in a bastardized way is just making this much harder than if I just paid attention. You can hear that, right? He's a coming. Wish you could jump out there. Yeah, you gotta do this to me again, dude. So he's probably up there, so we're just gonna go down here. Puffing. 
see they're gone now. The zombies have given up. Really don't need two handguns. I did clear this out. Can't believe I never touched that door the whole time, you know. So if we get all the way there and it's locked, I'm gonna be officially stumped. So we know he has to be behind me always. Yeah, taking the upstairs. <laughs> Fucking hell, why is everything making me jump so much? I went through this before and I was just so unfazed by zombies I was taking hits because I was like, oh, you're here. And this time the sound makes you Oh shit. I'm running. Why am I running? Yeah. No. Oh, this is going horribly. One mistake and it's gonna probably cost me my fucking life. So I'm just running into everything. This is why you don't panic. This is why you don't panic. Ugh, fuck. And I don't remember the last time I saved. I thought I was a big OG. Bam! <laughs> it's gonna be like, you didn't even pick up the hip pocket, I bet you. Last time. Does it this game doesn't auto save. This game doesn't auto save. Oh my god. I am back. This is hurting my ability to carry on playing this game. Because like, we're at the bit where he shows up. Which means we can skip a lot of the shit we just did. It means we can skip a lot of the shit we just did. And we can go straight back to the interrogation room, first of all. Get the box. This bad. This bad. We just wasted an hour of everyone's time. Oh, well at least I can cut it, but it's an hour I'm not getting back. <laughs> yeah, I have to even go pick up the fucking submachine gun again. It's your fault. Ah, my cat's eating my foot. He's telling me to stop being tilted. It's all going wrong. Oh no. So we're just gonna lead all of this. He's a problem. He is a problem. You asshole. Mm -hmm. Let's have a think. We got the box. <coughs> we need to get the um my cat says meow. I'm gonna stop in a minute, but like um that's annoying because I wanted to try and just power through this game and look what it got me. It got fucked of it so yeah no bueno so now just gonna we're just gonna make a little save just gonna make a nice little save let's rotate we've got one two three to be fair I've only saved three times and it's been a few hours so it's like that was my fault that was my fault okay right we now have to like speed run this section so that it's not too boring. Um, <clears throat> so, the herb. We can come back for that. We're going to be going through here many times. I've got herbs right now. We can't go through here. We need to go into the star's office. We need to get this. 
we need to go all the way down to this and then we can just go from well we can go into here look check the records room come back out or come back out and if it's you know go this way or come back out this way go to there so we're going to make a big loop so first we go here then we go down then we go here sound good My cat's scared of the Mr. X note. I want to hit and run. I thought I saw him go down. He's probably up. He's actually walking away. This thing. So we got to get to the stars room. Gotta stop making stupid fucking decisions. He's he's a common. Oh, he a common. Let <clears throat> me get these pistol rounds. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we were talking a while ago about how unprofessional the ESL industry is. Now it's annoying if you want to take the jobs any degree of serious, and I mean like I'm pretty much unqualified. They just say that because I'm from England and I have a nice accent that I'm basically fine to teach. I have like the lowest capable qualification you can have while still being okay, quote unquote, to teach. And that's the uh, TEFL course. That's essentially a small certificate. It's basically saying you attended a seminar saying, hey man, and you did some online courses and that, that guy went, hey man you know vaguely how to TEFL. It's like the, the lowest you can get. And uh, I take it seriously because it's a job and they're paying me money. And my attitude was if there is a job and they're paying you money, you got to at least show a little bit of willing. Now, I mean, if your boss is an asshole and everyone else is doing drugs, you're going to be very much like, well, you know, it's like the... The, like requirements are kind of dropping every second but it's like you're still going to show up and do your job right because you think at the end of the day you're teaching little kids how to speak your language you want to kind of like give a good impression not be a dick you know you want to just say like look guys look, I do my I can do it And like, you know, the amount of shit I get for being a, just some TEFL guy, the employability sucks. Uh, it's, it's fine after it. Like, I've been doing it for nearly five years now. So, oh, we have to do this again. I'm sorry, everyone. It may have changed. Even if it hasn't, this people, this, I didn't think I was going to have to remember. Okay. No. 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 Oh, wait, what? No, no, yes, yes, no, <laughs> yes, yes, no, <laughs> what am I doing? I'll get back to my story in a minute. Unfortunately, what am I doing? What am I doing? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> like, you know, he's going to do this to me. Last time I was paying attention, right, and I was actually using my brain, and now I'm just like, hit the button, and it's making it worse. <sighs> oh, I was going to fuck it up again. I actually turned off my mic, my, you know the PS4 controller has a mic. I turned it off because for that it's really loud, like for the door 
unlocking effect as well. It's really loud, so it used to make me just it, if you get it wrong, it'd just be da 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 da, da and then it'd just be like ah oh, the beeps, the beeps. Let's go get this. So yeah, like I take a little bit of pride with my work because it's like I want to take it seriously because it's the only job I can have really right now and travel and do my job still. Um, everyone's seen the job situation in the West is not the best right now. It's not the worst, but like it's very hard to earn us honest living um, and, you know, actually look after yourself, um, especially in the UK where I was living. It's like... You're not gonna like you can be like a trainee doctor in my country and not have enough money to pay your rent and have food. That's how bad the cost of living is in the UK in certain places. <laughs> no, we won't read this again. We've read it. I didn't use as many health items, but we need this. Hmm. Ugh. Yeah, I need the dongle. Mm, agony. Oh, you never discard. Why am I doing with my life? Oh, what can I consume that I don't need right now? Is there a gunpowder in here? If it's like gunpowder for a gun that I have, you know, that would just be too convenient, wouldn't it? You know the moment I go out of this room, it's going to be the white gunpowder and I could have done more shots. Shots, 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 shots. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of people in this thing that they take it for granted. They carve themselves out a little niche in like a learning center. Basically, if you work in a learning center for more than two to three years, you are almost guaranteed. I'm just going to have to throw this. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm in here. I wish you could put stuff down on the floor, but not in the RE0 way. Is this fuck going to be right outside the door? One of them will. So like we said, we're going down here. I just got a feeling. Call it a combination. Because this area is quite clean. So you think the main problem is going to be Mr. X and he showed his pony ass up here before. Alright, alright, it's going to be down here just to fuck with me further. There's a liquor down here. I have the key, right? Yeah, I have the key. Uh, this, is, this is a mess. <laughs> this is a, you can see him, right? Now he's right in the way. Uh, there's no way getting around him without him seeing me, so. Oh, no. Are you gonna get up? The hell is up with you? I thought he was dead. He lied. That's gonna have attracted Mr. X. So, Mr. X is attracted to gunfire. As we've all seen here. <laughs> so it was 103 and 203. How many buttons can I push in in, in the stop time? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> animation. Loop to loop with this guy. <laughs> Don't need a roll phone. 
You never need the roll fill. Turn around. He's turned around on me. He's turned around. We're going to run. Uh, which way do we go? This way. Shortcut. Please. No! Oh, thank fuck. I thought that was locked, locked. I was like, okay, game over. I don't know what I'm doing. You. Yeah, you are a tool. Goddamn tool. This thing. My life. That gunpowder man is just fucking with me. Are oh, you fucking kidding me? Uh, it's important. There's a hand grenade. There's a hand grenade. Oh, I don't need this. Bye bye, key. Run! Oh, it's the wrong side now! <laughs> we're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with that. Um, we're not dealing with that. We're going this way. Pink, 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 it's our world, though. Where are we going? Excuse me while my brain tries to catch what where are we running to? Library. Library. I love libraries. Uh, let's go up here. Now, you can imagine doing the library puzzle is a fucking pain in the ass with him chasing you around. That's why you try and, like, kite him and just... Yeah. them all. Some stuff hid behind some of them. We're not going to do that. Just all of them. That was not his feet. That was this. You just shove them all as far as they go. And you hope you don't fuck up by a millimeter, because always you have to go down and do it again. While Stompy chases you. I fucked it up. I Come on, please. Gooby, please. Ooh, you could walk that. You could just step over. I feel like you're being a bit finicky there, Claire. It's probably... No! Why? Down is down. Bad Claire. No snacks for you. Ooh, snacks. Hasn't come. That's the most optimal it would ever be. The first time I did that, he was chasing me round and round this room. And if you hide behind the shells well enough, he'll go up and he'll try and look for it. If you hide still well enough, he'll leave you alone. Now if we can just keep him away. This area sucks because it's poorly lit, first of all. And there's zombies just hiding behind some of these. Oh, I don't want that. On this. See him? Sometimes he's just stood right behind there. So you walk around this thing and he's like, nom nom nom, and you're just like, oh, you little bitch. That's what I think of your hand. I don't appreciate it. Gunfire attracts Mr. X. And you're not going down, you turd. they say to you, pollution in China is bad, and they won't tell you that if you're planning on going to China to work and live, they will say to you, nah, it's fine, what are you talking about? You're saying there's something wrong with our country? Yes, the pollution. It's appalling. It's actually unsafe. It's cancer inducing. Like, um, if someone had told me that, I wouldn't have come to China. It's actually so bad that you are at risk, like most people who live in China are like much elevated likelihood of having cancer like over 50 percent of people here get cancer 
of from just breathing in the air, not smoking or like having a bad excess diet and shit. It's like a lot of them actually have fairly good diet and a fairly good exercise regime. They still get fucked up the butthole with cancer because you are breathing in enough that it's the equivalent of like someone said it's the equivalent in Beijing of smoking 20 a day. And if you're not walking around with a gas mask on or like those pollutant masks that actually do so, not a surgical mask, that's for droplet infection, it doesn't stop pollution, you are going to get very sick and it builds up. And you always get this phlegmy thing that you can hear in my throat <coughs> all of the time. <coughs> This turns this, and then we have to go put the small one down here. <coughs> so, um, yeah, like I was saying, I try and take my job relatively seriously, <coughs> but um, a lot of people I work with do not. They see it as a free jolly. They actually pay you quite well, considering that you don't have that much in the way of um, qualifications. This job, they pay you very well, considering that. But it means that if you do have qualifications, you're expecting that kind of salary or higher anyway, and you sometimes you're going to have trouble finding that unless you go to a prestigious school. It must have been an easier way to get this. I always think that, that worked. I always think to myself, surely there was an easier way. Yeah, so um, I worked with some right people in the past. People who claim to be addicted to ketamine and had no intention of coming off of it even after saying that to everybody. Um, coke addicts was, was, there was a guy I used to know. He used to just do cocaine all the time. <laughs> and a great guy to hang out with. But uh, yeah, you, you know, there's a great guy to hang out with and then there's... Um, this may be a problem. So uh, we can go, going through here is faster. We can unlock this door from the other side. This guy's just sliding up the wall like he's Johnny English. Ooh. Yeah, you get a lot of like guys that like, personally, if you got control of the drugs, I would argue that your personal life is your personal life. But you gotta remember they're working with kids, and how many parents are gonna put up with like the idea of like they're being taught by drugged up motherfuckers? <laughs> like you know what I mean? Oh well, yeah, cokey Joe can teach my kid. You know what I mean? It's just not professional. Um, uh, but, like, I've met a few people, they're very professional about their drug use, they keep it very quiet, they're very professional at work, you would not know that they were habitual drug users. You meet some people who are, like, so good, like, they've been doing it for so long, that they're so good at hiding it, that you would never believe, for the life of you, that that guy does drugs. And I am always impressed by that. Ooh, gunpowder large. That was probably a waste, I don't care. Because we're going to put the other one away. You'll, I always have enough ammo for the final act. Let's save it, because it'll stop this problem from happening. Yeah, you meet a lot of bad people in this industry. That's all I say. Like, and it's depending on what, how you tag the word bad. Like, I mean, like, I've worked with people who are, like I said, are like some of the best teachers I know, and they have a drug problem. So it's like, it's very obvious that it's like, you should be like, I don't really want him teaching my kid, but he's also one of the best teachers in the school, right? And he doesn't talk about it, and no one knows he has a drug problem. So you're just sat there like, well, he's a good teacher, that's all people care about, right? And he's like, the best qualified and shit like that. Got a very easy to understand accent. Doing it for years. Okay, so like, um, I should probably just stop talking about this, <laughs> um, because it's probably going to come back on me really fucking hard. Okay, that's... So 
there's going to be a cutscene in a second. I'll try not to talk over it with my bullshit. I mean, everyone's seen this by now, right? 